for uh, distinguished guests here present, my colleague ministers from different countries. Uh, let me take this opportunity as the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture and Livestock Development in Kenya to warmly welcome you all in Nairobi and most importantly, at this very important and timely African Fertilizer Soil Earth Summit. The Soil Earth Conversation is unique in all countries world over, given that we all have to find our people. I'm glad that our experts in Kenya have participated in the development of the Soil Earth Initiative and the 10-year action plan and on different, different platforms and appreciate the leadership of the AUDA, NEPAN, and the African Union. Soil fertility depletion has been cited as the fundamental root cause of declining per capita production arising from continuous mining of soil nutrients, inappropriate farming practices, including use of blanket fertilizer recommendations. Some of the negative effects of land degradation include the decline in crop productivity, food insecurity, low return on agricultural investment, and environmental degradation. In Kenya, only 18% of our land area is arable for crop production. And moreover, the area under serious production alone measures some 2.7 million hectares or 47% of the total arable land. This puts pressure on the soils in these agricultural areas to produce enough food for both local consumption and export and calls for action not only to utilize these areas but also do it in a sustainable manner. Traditional approaches to one sort of fertility, deplenishment, and low external input due to low availability and high cost of inputs by small holders have learned to land degradation. The current soil fertility replenishment strategy is based on the integrated soil fertility management practices which advocate for the use of both organic and inorganic fertilizers for balanced nutrient fertilization. This arises from the fact that fertilizers are expensive and calls for precise and prescriptive fertilizer recommendations at the farm level, which are based on precise soil testing to ensure increased sustainable and profitable crop production. I'm happy to note that the agricultural soil management policy of 2023 will guide institutionalizing sustainable management of agricultural soils in Kenya. The benefits of improved soil health transcend economic and environmental gains for our beloved country and region. The sub-themes identified in this summit are all important and relevant to Kenya, which includes advances in monitoring soil health, land degradation, and agronomic performance, and multi stakeholder action for scaling soil health globally through evidence-based public and private investment. Soil information systems in Africa, process of developing and implementing country plans and partnership modalities for implementation of the African uh, Fertilizer Soil Health Action Plan. Importance and benefits of integrated landscape soil and water management to, to optimize fertilizer use and so earth across agricultural land uses. The organic matter component of the, the high SFM equation challenges and realistic opportunities. Policy framework around fertilizer and soil health in incentive schemes to build soil health and financing Africa's fertilizer value chains. I am happy to note that my ministry as an exhibition tent where all these sub-themes are displayed in terms of state-of-the-heart technologies 
and relevant artifacts and products and invite you all to attend the stand. I want to thank you and now is my uh, my pleasure and